13 News Now has an update on an investigation accusing some Portsmouth City leaders of breaching the city manager's contract. As we reported last week, Tanya Chapman accused Mayor Shannon Glover and Councilman Bill Moody in October. In a new letter obtained by 13 News Now, investigators say the allegations do not amount to a breach. Eugene Daniel is in the studio now with the latest. What have you learned, Eugene? Well, Nicole, though that letter says the investigation did not find a breach of contract, the firm did make another observation and offered a suggestion to city leadership. It's a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. No breach of contract. That's the observation of an independent legal firm hired by the city of Portsmouth to investigate recent claims by city manager Tanya Chapman. In a letter obtained by 13 News Now, authored by Chapman on October 7th, she cited multiple incidents of Mayor Shannon Glover not acknowledging her in meetings and important events, and repeated comments from him and Portsmouth Councilman Bill Moody about Chapman not being qualified for her position. They were among those who did not vote in favor of Chapman's appointment. Chapman is a former police chief in the city who became city manager after city council members fired the last city manager in a tight vote. Among the allegations in that letter, Chapman said she experienced, quote, insolent behavior before and after being appointed city manager. And in a July meeting with the mayor, Chapman claims Glover's first statements were that he did not trust her and he never will. The city retained an expert employment attorney to look into the matter. 13 News Now has obtained a copy of a new letter written by a city attorney last week detailing those findings. According to the letter, the firm determined Chapman's allegation do not support a breach, in part because Chapman's still been able to make independent decisions and perform the functions of city manager in accordance to the charter. However, the firm did find the relationships between city leaders and city management, quote, are strained and advised city council to undergo governance training. The recommended training would include communication and civility training. Now, keep in mind, come January, there will be new people on city council after Tuesday's election. Mayor Shannon Glover did not comment. Bill Moody said he is not surprised at the findings and thinks the leak of last week's letter was a political move. For 13 News Now, I'm Eugene Daniel. We reached out to the city for a response from Chapman. We heard back from the city's public affairs officer who called this a personnel matter.